One of my favorite greens to grow is sitting right here. Collards. They are the perfect green for the tropical climate. And I'll get into why in just a moment. Aloha everybody, this is Sean with Homestead in Hawaii and I am coming to you from my garden to share with you one of my favorite greens, collards. These plants are so easy to grow and so hardy, they are the perfect plant for your tropical garden. The collards are super easy to grow from seed, they're a brassica so they look a lot like kale and cabbage seeds and whatnot, small little balls. You have to buy those seeds though because collards don't readily seed in our warm climate. They tend to bolt when it gets cold but out here that doesn't happen. Buy and seed, plant them, they sprout right up and they grow into these beautiful big leafy plants that are just super delicious to eat. Collards grow really well on the east side of the of Hawaii where it's really rainy. They're super hardy. They can handle all that water, which is really a blessing for us. And they can take a lot of abuse. Collards tend to fall over. I've had chickens take their dust baths under them. Roots get exposed. And yet somehow they keep on kicking. It takes a lot to take collards down. Now when it comes to pests, they are pretty good about pests, but there is one that tends to show up pretty often and it is the cabbage moth. Uh, you'll see white little moths fluttering around in your garden looking for a place to lay their eggs. And then you'll see this little tiny green worm that'll start to eat holes in your leaves. And typically when that happens to me, I just go in, pick those worms off and feed them to my chickens. But uh, uh, you could try spray them off when you see eggs if you get that chance. But for the most part, if you're growing in good, healthy soil, these plants will keep producing new leaves and those cabbage worms will not be able to do as much damage as they would otherwise. And collards are pretty cool because they are a short-lived perennial. They can grow to about three to four years. But the only drawback is how do you replant collars without having to buy more seeds? There is a method that you can do out here in the tropics where you can propagate your collards before they die off and you could have new young collards ready to go. That tends to happen when a collard falls over and it begins to sprout up like little sprouts along the branch that fell over. Well, you can cut those guys right out, just a little divot out of the main stem replant that guy in a little pot and before too long it'll root out and you'll have a new plant of your own <laughs> isn't that pretty cool i just learned about that one myself and i can't wait to do it on my own here i've been uh, mostly growing collards from seed but now forget about it i'm going to be propagating my own collards and pretty soon i will have collards all over the place really excited to have these plants grown in my garden they are my favorite green to put into recipes. They have the best texture. They cook down really nice and they are super delicious. They are a great heat tolerant green for the tropics and they are one that you should include in your garden. They grow quickly, they produce food for a long time and they will be there for you when you need them. Well, that's it about collards. I hope you get inspired here today to plant collards in your garden. Now is a great time. We are coming into the new growing season here in Hawaii and it would be a great time for you to start seeding out your collards now in January, February and by summertime or even before you will be harvesting super yummy leaves from these plants every day all year long. I hope you liked this video. If you did, Hit that like button. Until next time, I'll see ya. Ahoy ho!